Hey guys, welcome to the Jeep Solid Garage. Thanks for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I'm all about helping you with repairs, maintenance, off-roading videos, all kinds of fun stuff. Today, we're gonna to be covering the removal and installation of a radiator on a Jeep Wrangler. JeepSolid.com Now this old radiator is coming out of this part a little bit there broke a few of my welds. Anyways, this is coming out of this old Project 92 YJ, but the process is really similar for a lot of Wranglers. We're gonna start by disconnecting the battery cables. The little air in up top here. We're still draining, slowly but surely. All right, now that we've got the coolant all drained, we can go ahead and remove the hoses. Let's disconnect the tubing to the overflow reservoir. And there's two bolts here to remove the power steering reservoir. We're gonna get these out of the way. Now let's just slide this power steering reservoir out of the way. All right, now our fan shroud has four bolts. One, two, three, four. Let's take those off. Uh, one of them we already have out from removing that power steering reservoir here. Now we can lift hey, the fan. What are you doing? Oh, hey, I'm just getting the fan shroud out of the way so I can remove the radiator for fun. Yeah. <laughs> so that's good, what I do. It's a good hobby. <clears throat> Keeps you involved and interested and out of trouble. Man, your whole camera just went. Oh. Is he coming? All right, now we've got that fan shroud out of the way. It's just a matter of uh, unbolting the radiator. Here. And three bolts on this side. Just gonna kinda help hold it up a little bit. And the sixth and final bolt. Where'd he put me gloves? There's our old radiator. And here's a little shop tip for you. If you'll notice the mounting bracket on the radiator here, the bottom one, these are slotted on each side. So when you take all the others out, the bottom two, just loosen them up. That'll help hold the radiator in place. You just loosen them up and then you can lift it out. That way the radiator's not falling down on you. Now installation of it is gonna be actually just the reverse of the same process. 
We're gonna drop our new radiator down in there, bolt it on, hook all our hoses, put the fan, uh, fan shroud, fran, fran shroud? We're gonna put the fan shroud back on there, get everything all hooked back up, and then uh, burp the system, fill it back up with uh, coolant, start the vehicle, uh, let the thermostat open up, keep burping the air out until you've got the system completely full, and refill your fluid reservoir. So that's about it. It's actually a fairly easy process. So I'm gonna take this outside. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Project 92YJ. I'm gonna be turning this thing. Oh, no. Do that again. And here's a little shop tip for you. So if you'll notice the mount, <laughs> if you haven't subscribed, be sure to. No, <clears throat> oh, guess I'll just leave it there. Boop boop.